Mayon Botak from Good. Mayon Tupic. Good water. Good water. Good water. Mm -hmm. Got some low cost fish there. They're also at the pier. That's a really cool thing to see. I haven't caught any. <laughs> but uh, today's video is going to be awesome. We're going back to town. I have to do some errands in the bank, give them an ID or something. Then we've got to do some grocery shopping. And then I'm going to take Sherlyn to a place where I saw yesterday where there's a geothermal area, like a whole mountain, looking like it's about to explode. And it, it's, it's almost like, a, uh, it's like Iceland. You remember the smell, the rotten smell? Uh, what was it in the? Yeah. Uh, you what remember the smell, the geysers? Yeah, the geyser. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the so rotten it's egg. exactly the same. It's a rotten egg smell. Yeah. We'll so see. we're gonna check that out, and I'm gonna try to bring an egg with me. So I wanna see if we can cook an egg <laughs> in the hot water. You think? Yeah, and then later on, I'm going to Up Island with Chris, our Swiss friend, who's going back to Europe. So we're doing a, I'm doing a last dive trip with him. Sherlyn has to be doing some errands at home while we're doing that. And then uh, we'll see where this day takes us. It's gonna be a long one. We've got our rock and roll. Let's go to the town. And someone is with us too. And uh, yeah, we gotta do a lot of stuff. You ready for that, Jake? You ready, Jake? Okay. Oh, he's ready. looking at the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for your lovely comments and it was really helped me a lot. And hi Jake. Daddy is going to the bank, okay? In a few minutes he will arrive soon, okay? We'll come back. In a few minutes he will be uh, coming back again. Okay, banking is done and now I'm going to Hypermart to pick up some groceries. Uh, I can't see crap through this. Mask is so annoying. All right, let's pick up some stuff. Chillin asked me to get some hangers, clippers for drying clothes. And here's a bunch of them, but then I spotted this one. Dolphins, underwater stuff. Definitely get these ones. All right, time to pay. And now we're off to the geothermal area. Now that's a proper jungle. We're almost to the location, we're gonna stop and that's gonna blow your mind, Shirley. <laughs> Water post. It's a, oh, 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 sorry. Oh, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's a, that's what you call a road waterfall. <laughs> and now, you're about to see something crazy. What is this? <laughs> look, 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 look. What is this? What? I thought it's burning. What? No way. Oh, it smells like same. Oh. seen anything like this before here? No, but I remember when we were in Iceland. Mm. 
boiling egg. I like this smell here. Nice. Come on, get closer. It's like when you open a bag of a uh, box of uh, balut. Yeah, balut. Actually, yes. <laughs> but this one is like a, a burning mountain. <laughs> Amazing thing. <laughs> That's so wild. Where's the egg? Yeah, we need to boil some eggs. Slow down, poor visibility. Steaming ground ahead. Steaming ground, you may ask. Well, there you go. <laughs> Whew. That smells like back home, huh? Well, man, this is like way bigger. This is so huge. It's crazy, guys. Look at all the colors. Smell it, yeah. Yeah, I do smell it. Oh my god. I can't. It smells so good. <laughs> Rotten eggs. Rotten eggs, yeah. That's the sulfur. Yeah. But is that good? Okay. I'm gonna share you a small knowledge about this geothermal area. Iceland and Philippines have a lot of, well, not a lot of similarities. One similarity is volcanoes. And what these volcanoes can actually do, they can create a green energy. So what Philippines is doing now, they are tapping into the new technology of geothermal power plants. So what you see here, especially in Negros, in this mountain range, there's a lot of steam vents, a lot of holes, and there's a power plant creating green renewable energy from the steam. And what they basically do is, they dig a hole deep into the volcano where it's hot enough magma basically and they pour water down into it and the water turns into steam and it explodes to the surface and then there's like turbines fueled up by the steam. Well that basically creates the electricity energy. So it's green, renewable, super awesome, kind of scary, <laughs> it almost looks like we're in mortar, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> The nice thing about seeing this is before there was used a lot of coal to create electricity and there still is a lot of uh, CO2 type of electricity plants here in the country. So they're moving into a green renewable energy which is awesome because there's basically you know, unlimited amount of renewable energy in Philippines. The sun, the volcanoes, the wind maybe. So that's awesome to see. Oh my god, it smells so bad! <laughs> You're so cool, dude. There we go. I just customized my Iglog machine. Jack. Stay there, Jack. Up, 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 up. There we go. Let's uh, do a scientific experiment. Let's see if the temperature is high enough to get some reactions of the chemicals inside the egg. That will lead to cooking. <laughs> Boiled eggs. Boiled Ish. Egg. Let's see. Normally I cook eggs for about six to seven minutes, so let's give it six or seven minutes. Six, seven minutes later, the moment of truth. Let's check if it's boiled. We have a situation. Oh, it did not fall off. You got it. <laughs> I'm hungry. I want some egg for breakfast. 
Yeah, but that's a lot of toxic. Now, the only problem might be is that we didn't really know the temperature of the water there. So if it was not around 80 to 100 degrees, then it's probably not cooked. We'll see. I don't think it's a good idea to keep that. It's an excellent idea. That's what the Vikings did, shouldn't it? They used the geothermal to make hot tubs, cook some food. <laughs> and that's a failure. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> so apparently the water there is not hot enough. It needs to be around 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. Gulai? Yes, gulai. What's this? Igado, sir. Liver and goat. You have goat? Sir? Where's the goat? There, it's in there, sir. In the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, let's get a goat at this one. This one? Yeah, and a goat. And a goat. No rice, no life. <laughs> no, I give it to you. <laughs> goat soup. Fish and soup. Fish soup. And, um, oh yeah, fish up here. Tuna, it looks yeah, like. It Vegetables. So this is the second goat we're having in the last two days. Forest camp was awesome. Forest Gump. Forest Gump. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so soft, comes right off the bone. Wow. That's really good. I'm impressed by the goats. I thought they were going to be a lot more chewy, but they're tender. How's the rice? No, you're eating the rice much. <laughs> you become more Filipino than me, no? Know that. Rice is life. No, you. Rice is life too. I know, I know. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Ooh. Seems like so tender. Yeah. Wait, it looks like tender, but... Mmm. Told you. I heard there's a goat, it looks like it tastes like a, a beef. Yes, or Filet mignon. Yeah. Just like that. Beef. Like a Wellington steak. Yep. Yep. It's your lucky day, Jake. Wait. 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 Yes. Wow, now that is a calm morning, 5 a.m. Look at this, guys. It's never this calm. It's always windy and wavy, which is nice. But it's just pure, glassy. So clear the water, holy moly. Out of the two, three months that I've been here, this is like the second time I've seen it like this. You see some fishermen there? They just said, woo, <laughs> must be a good day. Now that's what you call a beautiful morning. Look at that. We got classy conditions, flat ocean, sun south, gun south, blue sky, boat is ready. We're going to Apo. <sighs> it's the last day with our friend Chris. He's going back home to Europe. So we're gonna go on an epic trip to uh, Apo Island. But I'm gonna change it up a little bit on this dive. I'm bringing my photo camera. What I'm shooting at right now is my video camera. So uh, I'm gonna be taking mostly epic pictures of the beautiful coral life. So I'm gonna show you guys that later on what I'm able to produce. Guys, this is Philippines paradise. Does not get much better than that. Well, this is my crazy rig today, guys. We got two strobes on it which is different from normal shoots usually we just have ambient lights we're shooting wide big stuff
Guys, we haven't had such a good hey! water since I arrived. This I is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in order for us to go to Op Island, we always got to get the Coast Guard pass. So we go to Malatapa to pick that up. And then we're able to go to uh, the island because the island is pretty much closed off to public. So these are just like the safety protocols, but damn the conditions. This is Philippines. But uh, this is always the zone where the fisherman's uh, livelihood is able to fish. You're allowed to fish here, this yeah, is, yeah. Uh, Guys, I've never seen so many fishermen here before. Everybody's out because the weather is so good. And it's just a beautiful scenery because all of these local fishermen, they're fishing legally. They all have these lines. There's no fishing nets here. You can, you can see them do the uh, pulling in the line method. This area here, all allowed to fish. But most of the island is protected. All right, so this dive is gonna be very different from the previous ones. We're going down to 40 meters, our deepest dive yet. Good. Saying goodbye to Chris. Chris is gone. And and the ex, you like the ex? <laughs> yeah, actually that's the one thing I'm gonna ask because it's been yeah almost a month. The last time I dive. So. Oh yeah, for diving. Can, can take we... you ready for the next one? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. Fantastic dives in Apo. That was a bit crazy. I went down to 42 meters and it was the last dive with Chris. And if you don't know Chris already, he is uh, the owner, creator of Sea Explorers, the company that we've been diving with here in Darwin. And I want to give a big shout out to Sea Explorers because not only are they so professional, they're able to take us to a different dive sites. They want to try to explore new places that are not regular. So a big shout out to them. And also, I want to say something about Chris because this guy, he's from Switzerland and he came to the Philippines like 40 years ago and he has told me all his stories of exploring. I mean, that's why he's named his company Sea Explorers because that's in his nature. He's been exploring Philippines more than all of us fighter bias can even, like, we haven't touched anything close to what he has done what he has seen 
throughout the decades that he has been here. I mean, he went from starting, I uh, think he built a Nipa hut, Nipa hut and started his first dive shop like that in a Nipa hut and look where he is now. So it's a, just amazing story with hundreds of people, of staff, countless of Filipino families he has helped protecting the ocean, setting up sanctuaries and the stuff that he had to go through. And I just, I, I've never met a person that has done so much for the Philippines as Chris and Sea Explorer has done before. So just big shout out to those guys. And uh, yeah, they're in Switzerland now and they're probably gonna come back in maybe two or three months once they get vaccinated. So yeah, we're also waiting on our vaccination pro. We're also waiting on our vaccination thing. I don't know how we're gonna get it here. We heard some rumors about the Red Cross is gonna do that. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, until next time, peace out. By the way, uh, boiling eggs, yeah. Just make sure it's a little bit hotter next time. Say bye to the vlog, Jake. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.